Hey guys, Anthony here. I just want to tell you guys about another tool that I've been using a lot called Zon Pages. There's a certain feature in it today that I really want to talk about. It has a couple of different things in it, like an email autoresponder and all that. But I really want to highlight on like this key t feature within it that builds like Facebook custom audiences for you and automatically updates it for you. A lot of these tools don't automatically update your Facebook custom audiences. So you're going to usually if you're familiar with Facebook audiences, you have to like re-upload a new file every single time. You gotta get a new customer and like you do it periodically, like weekly or so. Zon Pages does it for you automatically, and that in itself is like one of my favorite um, little features of the feature. Uh, so basically, what a custom audience is on Facebook is the way Zon Pages will pull in a custom audience for you is they'll use your existing Amazon customers to purchase your item, right? and it'll create a custom audience from that for you to put into Facebook so you can run ads to them, right? And this is super, super powerful because if you have a ton of customers uh, like I do, you can retarget them to like, like your Facebook page, join your email list, um, and just expand from that. Like the potential is like unlimited, right? And you're off of Amazon's platform, so you can just kind of do whatever you want um, with them, you know? Um, so like I said, these custom audiences lead to warm leads and repeat buyers. Uh, not only that, we're, we're going to be collecting emails because of the custom audiences. And these same users uh, become part of my VIP review club is what I like to do. And I use them for all my product launches. They're like warm leads and they love my products. So I'm like, hey, like I got this new product coming out. Tell their community, tell their friends, and I'll give you, you know, like a discount or something too. And they always get like a good discount whenever I do a new product launch. Uh, so before I move into like the three tips of like how I use it, I'll show you kind of how like it feels like walking through zone pages. So you're kind of familiar with like what settings there are and like how it works. So uh, once you log in on pages and you create an account and there's this thing called Facebook audiences, right? So with Facebook audiences, um, oh, this is kind of cool stat. So I've had at least 100,000 people uh, customers, um, I guess, since like I had my account or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so jumping into the Facebook audiences, click on that. You want to click on create a new Facebook audience. And when you create a new Facebook audience, right, it'll give you some really options. So you're going to click the, you're going to have to usually, if, I think on the first time you, you log in, you're going to have to sync it to your Facebook ad account. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just create a new audience name um, and I'll just call it uh, Solar Tradecraft Test. All right. And this is an example for you guys. So you go on to the next page uh, and you always wanna filter out specific clients, right? And what I mean by that is you can filter out by these two, total amount spent by client or percentage of discount. So I like to filter out anyone who got an item like via a giveaway for me, right? So if anyone got uh, a discount more than say 90%, then I don't want them to, uh, actually more than like, if they got a discount more than 10%, like I don't wanna retarget these users. These users are probably the ones who got like free items from like a viral launch or market hustle giveaway. And those usually are like really cheap, like freebie seekers that I rather not waste my ad spend on. So right, so I'll put ten percent and repeat buyers. I don't use that, and then I'll select all my products that are like relevant, right? So if you have one big overcompassing brand, just select all of them, right? So I'll just select a couple, so you can kind of just see how big like one of these audiences could be. Um, let's see. Uh, so select, 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 select. All right. Uh, so I selected a couple, and then what you do is hit continue. So it brings you to this next page where um, audience restrictions, right? So it asks is like, when should we remove these clients? Like I actually choose never. I want to retarget them forever, um, basically. And then it also then Zon Pages also gives you the option to do email pens and with for emails and phone numbers. If you're not familiar with email pens or phone number like appending, uh, basically it's really cool. What it does is uh, all, all, of our, all of our information is out there on the internet somewhere. Like your email, your address, like we're all in some database out there that's like kind of free to use. 
but email pen software and phone number pen softwares, what they do is based on like the information we can extract from the customer, say we have their address, say we have their name um, and their zip code, right? Based off of Amazon's uh, data that they give to us. We can, the email pen and phone number pen, what they do is they use that name and that address and they go look over the internet and they find an email and a phone number that's related to basically the name and the address. A little scary, but the information's all out there, so they piece it together, right? So the cost of Zon Pages to do it is like nine cents. There's a couple other softwares that do it. Um, you don't have to do this, but it makes your custom audience a lot, lot stronger. Uh, but if you have, you know, like 10,000 users and it's nine cents a piece, it, it starts to add up, you know, like it starts to add up in terms of uh, how much it costs. So you don't have to use it, but it definitely makes your custom audience uh, list a lot stronger. Uh, so for the sake of this example, I'm just going to hit create Facebook audience and not use the append um, function, right? And once we have it created, you can see it's right here. Um, it'll actually probably take a second to, let's see, view. Yeah, so once you click it uh, and have it all set up, basically you can look at it in Facebook and it will automatically sync right and it'll be say uh, it'll automatically be created by it'll say it'll be created by zon pages and over time the size of it will update automatically uh, if you see one of my other past ones let's see yeah like this other other one that i have basically uh 31,000 people that like i can retarget automatically which is really cool and i really like it but you know like so i have this custom audience but what do i do uh, with it essentially all right so the three ways that I use it and I really recommend you use it is use your custom audience tip number one use your custom audience to build a look-alike audience and reach even more people so the look a lot like audience feature within Facebook um, this can go really deep but I won't give you guys like a high level so based on say the audience that I had for thirty one thousand dollars the thirty one users 31,000 people, I can create a lookalike audience, right? The really cool thing about a lookalike audience is that you create this variance um, based on like what you want. So I usually choose a 1% variance. What that means is Facebook has a list of users, right? Uh, that we created from Zompaters. Facebook is gonna find people that are basically 1% different than the list of users that you have on your list and you can target them, right? So basically you essentially can double, triple, quadruple like the amount of people that you're targeting and based because like they're so similar in interests that p potentially these customers too could, I mean, these, this audience could potentially be your customer too. So it's super, super powerful and it's like something you should definitely play around with and explore. Um, I've seen really, really good results with it and uh, <laughs> This is the reason why Facebook is not going away anytime soon. Uh, so tip number two, right? So run a page like campaign on your custom audience for easy warm likes and social proof and retargeting. So any user that likes your page, you can easily retarget. If they like your page, it alerts their friends and their friends can like your page too. But also what it does is it gives you more social proof. So whenever you like post anything on your social media or you run a contest or you like really want to further build your brand out you have this warm huge audience that already have liked your page and they're more willing to like share your message and continually receive updates from you right it's basically like having an email list and sending um stuff out so anytime you post something on your page like they'll get an alert and they'll be that much closer to being like another repeat buyer and spreading the message of your brand right so tip number three this should definitely say number three instead of two um It'll probably be fixed by the time you guys see this. But so run ads to custom audience with a contest via gleam.io and collect email addresses. So this is one of the easiest ways to collect uh, emails or make them your customers do whatever they want. So for this example, there's this vape, right? Say you want them, uh, say you want to capture their email. Uh, the trick is to give away like something really, really cool in your niche, right? Um, so say you're selling kid stuff, right? You're selling like diapers or something. Uh, what is in the same vertical as diapers? 
baby strollers, right? Say you give out a really badass baby stroller that costs us like $200, maybe, I don't know, $100. I don't know how much baby strollers go for. Um, not at that point in my life yet. But basically, using you want to use it as bait, right? So the baby stroller, like that really nice baby stroller that all the moms want, uh, you want to use it as bait because if they buy that baby stroller, they're probably willing to uh, buy your diapers, right? Because um, they're in the same vertical, same customer, same demographic. So what you can do is like for an example is this, you can make them sign up for an email newsletter. You can ask, you can tell them subscribe to your YouTube channel, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, like on Facebook, share it, right? And you can also refer other friends for extra entries. So basically the entries, uh, each one of these give them one more point into winning like that, uh, what is it called? The baby stroller, right? So it incentivizes them, it gamifies the customer to like, hey, like, let me do all this stuff so I can really win the stroller. And this is how you get stuff to go viral, right? Your goal, like whenever you do anything on Instagram, Facebook, you ideally want it to go viral. Because if it goes viral, then it's like free publicity and say like maybe the $5 you spend on targeting users or the $10 you spend on targeting users, if it shares and goes viral, then you're gonna get like a ton, a ton of customers and get emails for super cheap, Facebook likes for super cheap, and you can retarget all these users. So this is like a little more of like an advanced thing for those just starting out in their private label journey. So my recommendation is if you're gonna go through and do all of this, like you should have a brand, right? Your end goal should be to be building a brand. And that's what I really preach because I really believe that if you're trying to build a private label product, you're gonna only sell it for like a two or three X multiplier. If you build a brand, you can sell it off for like a five X multiplier or even more. It just, the sky, the potential is like unlimited. Um, so my whole thing is like, I really think that you should focus on building a brand and not a private label product. And this feature inside Zon Pages is one of the best ways that you can get a head start on doing it, right? They, you already have a warm audience from Amazon. Why not leverage that audience to really build out your Facebook page and collect emails and just build out the brand? All right, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me below in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, see you guys.